been an absolute roller coaster. Sometimes we dig ourselves in a hole and we just <laughs> battle back. Um, we've done it before. So um, I'm just so proud of my teammates um, for not giving up and just still believing and just going out there and just playing for ourselves and doing what we love to do out there. And um, just hopefully we get ourselves, give ourselves a shot. Um, I think the biggest thing was just remembering who we are and that's team Anderson and to not allowing the, you know, the weight of the Maple Leaf to, to feel heavy and be proud of our accomplishments. And when we went out there and played for ourselves and played with heart, um, like the girls were magnificent. Um, I kind of wish everyone got a chance to see the, the true character, the grit and the grind that they played. Um, but at the same sense, the, you know, what was my job is just letting them know to believe in each other and to trust it and, you know, to play with our heart. Um, no, every game was important. <laughs> Absolutely every single one. So, uh, no, it wasn't any different and, uh, um, didn't, uh, I just felt good going into that game. So I just knew that what I needed to do and what I needed to believe in and trust what I'm seeing out there. And, uh, we did a really great job today. Yeah, when it's not in your control, it's hard. Um, but we did what we needed to do, and um, that's all we can do. Well, you can't be stressed. It's out of your control. Like, you know, we finished our job. We've done what we could accomplish. And honestly, like, check off the box. We did what we had to do today. And that's really all that matters. The rest, we can't control. And so, you know, enjoy the day, go get ready. Like we're going to be ready to play for the, you know, believe that we'll be there, go get prepared for tomorrow. And me, I'm Carrie, do you wish that they played tiebreaker games here or do you think it's a good system that they have? Uh, I don't know. We played a lot of games. <laughs> so um, yes, yes and no. <laughs> I would never want to lose on or be knocked out on the last stone draw. Like I'll be honest. So David and I were talking about it and I mean, with what is on the line with the Olympic trial spot and such, the girls, I think all of the females out here would rather let's play it out. Well, I'm gonna be honest, we have been out there learning so much about each other, about the ice conditions. This is our first worlds mm -hmm. together. And um, we have been learning and gaining so much knowledge about each other, the ice conditions and, and being Team Canada. But honestly, I think we're all excited about this opportunity again, if it comes around what we've learned. And um, uh, yeah, you know, is this the record we wanted? No, but we put ourselves in a position that we may make the qual, uh, you know, we may qualify. And that was objective number one for us was to qualify. And if the opportunity comes here later on tonight, we're going to grasp it and go on and learn from it. Absolutely not um, to come into this event with no practice ice, but like the Winnipeg Lake, uh, I don't think we would have been throwing like we needed to be. So um, we like we had like if you only knew what was happening behind the scenes and how much these girls are working hard to stay uh, positive when you're away from your family and such. Yes, that's hard, but the reality of the world outside there, um, we had to prepare this way. And I think this was the right way. Totally up in the air. <laughs> I can't control uh, what the other teams do out on the ice. So I just got to hope, pray that we have a chance. We're going to be playing marbles because that's what we've been playing. I can't even watch. I won't there be able go. to. Um, I can't watch. <laughs> well, we'll be Thank getting uh, like rest. therapy and rest and getting ready like we would be playing for tomorrow. So it's maintenance. Yep. A few of them. I can think of three right off my top of my head. What are they? Um, but um, it is what it is, and we learn from it. We're going to learn from everything, and being put in this position, um, I'm just so grateful to be able to do this and be out there and representing Canada with pride and doing the best that we can out there.